Hello everyone, today we're going to look at how to create these artsy hand-drawn lines using shape nodes in DaVinci Resolve. And we will look at both the solid as well as the dotted lines. All right, so staying on the Fusion page, let's go grab our Fusion shape nodes by simply clicking on the SB spline, as polygon, and as a render node. So now as you can see, the system will automatically set them up for us, which is fantastic. And we're gonna go click on the SB spline node first. Let's put down two dots on the screen and then bring up the border width setting there ever so slightly now we have a perfectly straight line now the beauty of sb spline is the fact that all the corners are automatically curved so what that means is that we can begin to put down more dots on the screens as if we are actually drawing a cartoon style line by hand and as you can see that uh, we have a pretty decent one here already uh, without doing much extra work all right now let's talk about a couple best practices here so we're going to right click right click here for shape animation and then we're going to select remove polyline in the menu this will just ensure that any changes that we make to the line won't be automatically keyframed which is the default setting now let's also come to the top left panel here and then select modify only this will just make sure that uh, we can now make changes to all these dots start to drag them around or move them around without creating new ones on the screen all right so once this is all done and we are going to now move on to the s poly line here we are going to go and put down an arrow at the top of the line here on the screen and then let's just bring up border width a little bit there too and then we're going to just apply our best practices here remove the poly line change it to modify only and then let's just holding on the shape here a little bit i'm just going to make some subtle changes and once that's done you guys can see that uh, this is pretty much it as far as creating the line goes now let's go back to SB spline and we're going to bring the length setting down to zero keyframe it and then let's move over about 10 frames and then bring it back up to one. Now let's do the same for as polygon. We're going to bring the length setting down to zero keyframe it and then let's move over 10 frames and then bring it back up to one. So now as you can see, we have a nice little line animation happening. And then the next thing we're going to do is to create that wiggly effect. And then to do that, we're going to bring in the displays node Node, and then we're going to attach a fast noise node to it the fast noise pattern is what's going to drive that sort of distortion that turbulence that you're going to see with the lines so if we were to look at let's say the fast noise itself you can see that uh, you know there are all these settings like detail contrast scale that we can play with but most importantly i would say in this case the seat and c3 settings are what will help sort of drive that constant noise movement throughout the entire video so let's make sure that we make changes to these as well so now as you can see that uh, this noise pattern will just be constantly moving throughout this entire video and if we were to look at the displays node right now without making much changes to it we already have a nice little uh, wiggly effect happening to the line here which is perfect but you can make this slightly better by switching the type from Radio to XY and then just start to bring down the Y refraction setting here ever so slightly. Now you will see a more subtle movement of the line compared to what we saw before. And this is something that I personally prefer. All right, the only thing that's there left to do is to create that stop motion style. And to do that, we are going to just go to open FX and then just bring in the stop motion node and then place it after displays. And uh, you can see that by default, this actually looks pretty good without making any changes to it. Now, if you want a much slower stop motion, all you need to do is just to bring up the frame repeat setting here. And if you want a faster one, you can just bring it down. But uh, one thing though, one problem that you're probably noticing is that at the beginning of this clip, that line animation we originally created is now being severely impacted by the stop motion effect. So to circumvent this, what we're gonna do is to uh, go to the settings tab and then we're gonna go to the 10th frame where the uh, line animation ended. And then let's just uh, set a keyframe for the blend setting here. And then we're gonna just move back one frame. And then we are going to just to bring down the blend setting to zero. So now, as you can see, not only are we bringing back the line animation, but also we're preserving the stop motion style for the rest of this effect. All right, guys, moving on to dotted lines here. Let's uh, click on as text node uh, twice, and then let's click on as render. We are gonna go to the first as text node 
uh, here and then uh, in the text box let's just go ahead and start to put down a few hyphens to get us started and then uh, let's move on to the uh, layout tab and we're going to change the type from point to path so this will allow us to create a path on the screen that resembles a hand-drawn marker style line and once that is done what we're going to do is to start to apply our best practices so first things first let's change it to modify only and then uh, we are going to come to right click here for right uh, shape animation right click and then select remove path all right so now let's uh, select all these dots on the screen and then let's change them to smooth. And now, as you can see, uh, all we need to do is to just come back to the text box here and uh, put down as many hyphen uh, as necessary uh, to fill this entire line. And once that is done, let's now move on to the shading tab. So what we're gonna do now is start to, uh, to start to customize the dots a little bit. So what we're gonna do is to first of all change appearance to border fill. And then uh, we are going to uh, come to the extend vertical setting here, typing minus five. And then we're going to just to start to bring it back, uh, bring it up ever so slightly until uh, the, the dots have reached the desired height. And then we're going to come to extend horizontal and then start to bring that down until the dots has reached the desired length. So once that's done, what we're gonna do is to now come to the round setting here as you can see that uh, when we start to bring this up a bit this will actually change the look of the dot which is very cool so i like it but uh, these three settings uh, right off the bat will allow you to start to customize the dot a little bit all right now let's come to the second s text node here let's uh, go to the text box and then start to put down about six hyphens and then let's go to the layout tab and then change the type to path we are going to draw that arrow at the top of the line here so let's get going with that and uh, once that is done we are going to once again apply our best practices so let's change it to modify only and then let's right click here and then just remove the path we're also going to go to the shading tab once again uh, we are going to just customize the dot here change it to border fill and then just uh, start to bring up uh, bring down the extend vertical first and then start to bring it back up ever so slightly and then play with extend horizontal the round setting and then i'm just going to just adjust the shape a little bit here to tighten it up a bit but one other thing you can also do is to actually come back to the text uh, tab here and then just adjust the tracking uh, here what this will do is to shorten the distance between each dot but uh, this looks pretty good so i'm going to leave it the way it is all right now let's uh, go back to the first s text a node here uh, we are going to animate this by uh, just bringing down the uh, end of write on setting here and then set a keyframe and then let's move over about 10 frames and then we're going to just bring it back up to one now let's go to the second uh, s uh, text node here we're going to do the same thing bring down the write on here and then set a keyframe and then over move over 10 frames and then bring it back up so now we have a nice little uh, dotted line animation happening all right guys so we are going to now bring in the displays and the fast noise node just like what we did before so this part of the workflow is exactly identical once you know how to create it for one you can create it for as many as you like so the key thing here is to create that wiggly movement uh, in order for the stop motion to work properly so all these settings that you see here you don't exactly have to do what i'm doing as long as you have that wiggly movement throughout the video you're good to go so speaking of a stop motion let's uh, go ahead and uh, start to bring that in and i'm going to just leave all the settings at their default and of course the only thing you will see that uh, well the only problem that you will see is the fact that the line animation at the beginning will be impacted so once again let's come to setting make sure that the blend setting here is not going to kick in until the very last frame which is the 10th frame all right, now let's uh, take this back to the edit page. We are going to just uh, render out this effect. And as you guys can see, we have a pretty good hand-drawn marker style line animation going on here. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And as always, I will see you next time.